<clears throat> Good afternoon. It's Elaine from Penguin Place Crafts. Like the hat? It's got penguins on it. It was cold day out today in the 30s and I had a lot of shopping to do. So I figured, okay, I'm not going to mess with my hair. I'm just going to put on my penguin hat. So now I have a pretty bad case of hat hair. So I'm going to do the video with my penguin hat on. I know I said yesterday I'd see you in a few days when I'd finished a few things. Well, things change. I did finish one thing. I finished the Orca Christmas ornament. But this isn't actually a picture of the one that I finished because I didn't get a picture of that one before I put it out in the mailbox to head down to Georgia to its new owner. I had the worst time with that thing. Sewing on the Santa hat. I was sewing the Santa hat on after 11 o'clock last night. And then I'm looking at it and my stitches to sew the hat on were so visible. It just looked awful. So I pulled the stitches out and went to sew it back on this morning. But I didn't center it on the head. So it was wonky. It was down like one stitch away from the eye on this side and three stitches away. And I suppose you could wear your hat, hat tilted like that. But nope, took all the stitches out, sewed it back on again. I think the third or fourth time I finally was happy with it and sent it off. Put my errands today. My first stop was at a thrift shop because I was looking for a new pair of gardening jeans for my husband. Well, as I'm walking in, they've got like the furniture and they had shelves like these over against the wall, but I did not check to see how much they were. I thought, oh, I should go see if they're cheaper than the ones I got. Like, nope, 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 don't do that. But I did see this little shelf. It needs a good cleaning, but it was six bucks. And I figured when I'm setting up, if I have an eight foot table for a show, and I set up my cubes, there's usually a gap that's not big enough for a cube, but too small for much of anything else. And I thought this will probably fit between the cubes and give me a little bit of extra, you know, that's three more, four more layers to be able to put stuff. So I'm going to clean that up and I use it for storage in here until my next show, which probably isn't going to be too next March. But, yep, the cat. I did get the pair of jeans. I did get another article of clothing for myself. And I was like, oh well, looks like they don't have any yarn. And as I was leaving the store, they have the end caps and behind some kitchen stuff was one bag of yarn. And the tag was orange, so it was 50% off. I had to give it a new home. So it ended up being $3 after the discount. I got a full skein of homespun, which I use for my hats. So, and that's like a full skein, so I'm not going to play yarn chicken and lose. And then there's a pretty good chunk of a bulky white yarn with some flex. Bark, 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 bark. It's just saying chicken to me. Yep. And then a skein of the black yarn with flex. And this is also speaking chicken. So considering it was three skeins of yarn that I could just look at and say, I can make a bestseller from this and a bestseller from that and a bestseller from that. I got it. Now I'm home. It took almost an hour to put away the groceries from this trip. Well, I did stop and have, I, I zapped a gluten-free lunch in the microwave and had something to eat between putting things away. But it has just been so long since I did a really thorough shopping trip that we were out of so much stuff. And then I come home and I planned on making quinoa meatballs for dinner tonight. And I figured I'm going to cook up a big pot of quinoa and use 
the extras for the quinoa salad. There's a copycat recipe from a salad that they sell at Costco. Got my little Tupperware container out of the cupboard with the quinoa. There's barely enough to make the meatballs for tonight. Not enough to make the salad. So I just came back from a major shopping trip and I'm already out of something. That's the way it goes. It's like you go to Joanne's and you get all the yarn you think you need for projects and you get home and it's like, I thought I had that color, but I don't. So it's Murphy's Law. And Murphy's Law can work to your advantage sometimes. Like somebody put in a Facebook group that the secret of getting Etsy orders is like, get all caught up with orders and take them out of the post office, then you're going to get more orders. Well, it doesn't quite work because I get caught up a couple times a week. But um, my last order is out in the mailbox already. So that means I need to get a new one. Okay, it's just a quick video. Just, just to be silly and let you know how... The, oh, another... Okay, two more. Two more stories. Two, two rabbit trails that have nothing to do with crocheting. But you'll probably like the story. Story number one. I went specifically to Target. Haven't been there in months, I think. Because I wanted to look through their kids' pajamas for pajamas for Christmas for my granddaughter. Found an adorable pair. I gave it to the register and my total was close to $100. <coughs> and then they do, they scanned my barcode for Target Circle and I had a discount on a bunch of things. So, okay. I was just thinking, oh, okay. I was just thinking, hmm, there was one thing that I bought that I didn't put away, but I think it ended up in the Christmas bag. So, okay. Um, came down to 80 something and I get out my target card to pay for it and it's like wait a minute there's a gift card on top of my target card and I figured oh it's probably some hokey little five dollar card that I got like for buying three bottles of detergent or something like that she swipes it and enters in the codes and all that it was a fifty dollar gift card that I ordered I got as a reward from our credit card months ago and forgot that I had it so I got my order for 30 something dollars. Yes, that, that was a blessing. Then I went across the street to the grocery store in the area that has the best gluten-free selection. Spent too much there too. But I'm coming out and I see this lady walk, walking in front of me and she looks just like my neighbor. So she's heading in the direction of my car too. So I'm just like following her. And when she gets up to her car, she went to go past her car on the driver's side with her cart, but apparently she thought the cart wouldn't fit. So she comes back around and goes past the passenger side. And then I saw, yes, it is my neighbor. And she parked right next to my car. So I said, oh, you recognize the car? So you decide to park there? And she looked, and she was just, she was surprised. She was as surprised as I was that we ended up parking together in the parking lot. But I had an errand to do in one direction on the way home and she had an errand to do in the other. So we ended up going home different ways anyways, or else we would have just like probably taken the same route home. So that's it. I hope these stories brightened your day a little bit. Or, or my penguin hat, maybe my penguin hat. This is a knit Nordic hat and it's got all of the strings. Oh, you guys see some hat hair. And yeah, there's the hat hair. Like, I didn't finish it on the inside, so it's still got all the strings loose because it's just my hat. And I don't care if there's strings on the inside. I just care that there are penguins on the outside. So I, it, once upon a time, I had hats like this listed in my Etsy shop, but they take so long to make. Um, I mean... I probably, for the time invested in this, should charge like 60 bucks for the hat. But, you know, it's all strings on the inside. For 60 bucks, I would want a hat that had like a lining in it or a nice finish to it. So I just enjoy my own penguin hat. And I don't sell them on Etsy anymore. Although, if someone stopped me in the grocery store and said, I love your hat, 
did you make it? Can you make me one? You know, how much would I probably would quote them a price and make one for them too. So, okay. I think this is the third time that I've said like, that's it. Bye bye. So I get in a little bit of yarn time before I start making dinner tonight. So time to go play with yarn. Bye folks. <laughs>